Hey guys, so this is the second video of the series teaching you some basics of te technical analysis. Um, I'm obviously on TradingView, which is where I do all my analysis of the currency pairs to decide what I want to buy and what I want to sell. Um, if you're unsure of how to get onto TradingView and how to bring up these charts, please revert to the previous video showing you how to do that. Um, and once you're on TradingView and you've chosen your cu chosen currency pair, so in this instance, AUD CAD, which is the Australian dollar against the Canadian dollar, you can then start to analyze the charts now before we get going into what everything means um, these tools along the side are what you can use to draw these lines and rectangles and zones essentially so you've got all these different um, tools you can use you can draw your zones in and I'll explain what they mean and why you draw them in a second um, you can draw your lines in and again I'll explain what all of these mean and what weight they hold um, but anyway so the the reason for today's video is to cover some very basic technical analysis um, tricks essentially um, and what those tricks we're going to be covering today is support and resistance zone so very very basic but also um, a must have a staple in your technical analysis skills so after this video I'd like each and every one of you to go away on trading view pick a currency pair of your choice and draw these in yourself and send me some examples so I can check if you're doing it right or not so what we have here is a clear resistance zone now a resistance zone is known as a ceiling it's a region which price rises into, it struggles to break above so it falls back lower. Now as you can see, many times price has come up into this region and it's struggled to break higher so it's fallen back lower. Now the more touches into a region and the more rejections we have, the more reliable this region is um, as a resistance zone. So what you do at these resistance zones is you'd sell meaning we make money when the price falls so let's assume none of this has already happened but we've had one two three four tests into this region let's assume that this is where price is acting currently you could see from here that price is struggling and doesn't really want to break higher so you could extend this across into the future knowing that next time the price does rise up into this region you could quite confidently confidently sell it as previously it's tried four times and didn't want to break higher so if you would have sold it here you would have made money by the price falling all the way down and again here 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 and here now let me show you another example I've already got drawn in um, this is not as clean or noticeable um, but if you scour the charts you'll be able to find these yourself um, so this is a support region. So this is basically works in the opposite direction of resistance region. This is known as a floor. Price struggles to break lower, so it bounces back higher. So multiple times, um, price has tested into this region and doesn't want to break lower, so it's bounced higher. So you've had one, two, three, four, five, and you can argue this is a little bit messy here, but you get the picture. So again, after three tests into the region and it's rejected it, you could quite confidently start buying from this region. Now, obviously, there's a lot more that goes into a trade other than buying when it's here and selling when it's there, but we'll get into that in a, you know, the next series of videos. Um, I've already got some examples drawn in on other currency pairs. So as you can see here, this is a clear support region. So this is a clear floor that every time price has come into, it's bounced back and rejected. Every single time it's rejected it, it's rejected it, it's rejected it, and it's rejected it. So after three times into this region and it's rejected it, you can quite confidently start buying again from it. Now it's obviously not an exact science. You can see that here it doesn't quite touch the line. Here it does, here it breaks a bit through. Um, so you've got to obviously take this all with a pinch of salt. But you know, as you can see, it is quite uh, reliable. Again, if we go on to this other one here, you can see a clear support region. Um, and this is what trading is about, it's finding reliable, historic patterns in the price. So whether it's diagonally, whether it's horizontally, you find these repeatable price patterns and you trade from them. Um, and it's as simple as that. Uh, well, it's not as simple as that, but you, you get what I'm saying. So here, another support region, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight trading opportunities to buy from this region and make money. And again, if we have a look at USD CAD, I've got this zone drawn in here. Um, so again, here, you would have had many opportunities to buy and make money. So after the one, two, three times into the region, this is now a reliable region to buy from. So you could have bought here and made money, here, here, and here and made money. Um, and then obviously, price broke through and this region is now void um, but I hope that makes sense for support and resistance so please go away
bring up the charts, go onto TradingView and draw these in yourself and get an idea of how um, price works at these levels. Uh, the next video we'll touch on will be trend lines. So just to give you an example, uh, a trend line is usually a horizontal line which again acts as a region that price struggles to break through. So it's essentially the same as support and resistance, but usually in a horizontal fashion. So as you can see here, struggle to break, struggle to break, struggle to break, struggle to break, struggle to break. So every time it came back up to this region, you'd sell. Every time it comes up to this region, you'd sell. So obviously you've got to use all these things in conjunction with um, other technical uh, analysis tools. Um, so again here, if I draw that in, I zoom in a little bit. It's basically a horizontal resistance region. So there's the start. It comes up into this um, region. You'd sell. Comes up to the line again here. You'd sell, and it's pretty much pinpoint. Um, not in all cases, but you know, in a lot of cases, it is. So please go away, have a little try um, with these technical analysis techniques. Let me know how you get on, um, and uh, please send me some examples. And I look forward to seeing you all learning um, and benefiting from this in the coming weeks.